All right, so I now have the Atlas Scientific pH and EC probes working on the uh, Raspberry Pi. The probes pull too much power for the Pi 3.3 uh, volt supply. Uh, I think they probably do for the 5 volt also. But I'm using the E2C um, protocol, so I wanted to use the 3.3 volt. Um, so I'm actually employing the Arduino to supply 3.3 volt for one of the uh, one of the probes, um, so, and then I'm pulling 3.3 volts, of course, off the off the Pi on the other side. Uh, so um, I ran into a problem. Well, first off, you can see that both sensors, both circuits, are reading with the flashing lights there. Um, and to back up a little bit, I, I did put some um, external pull-up resistors in uh, while I was troubleshooting. I, I had some trouble with the connections. As it turns out, I forgot to tie the ground from the, the Pi being used as a power source and the uh, Arduino being used as a, a separate power source, isolated power source, but they do have to have their grounds tied. And, um, because I couldn't uh, tie the grounds together, I could not see both of the I2C probes on the I2C, um, um, well, on, I, when I pulled up the I2C grid on the Pi, which I'll show you in a sec, I couldn't see them. So, uh, both probes, one's put in salt water, one's put in fresh water, um, my fresh water is from a reverse osmosis, and uh, the the EC probe just wouldn't read anything. Um, so you can see now, you can see the uh, values rotating along, changing periodically. Let's just see what happens if I put the uh, EC probe in with the pH yeah okay so you can see there see the pH change which is on the left it went from about 7.325 to about 7.3 well no it's coming back down uh, it's actually going low now so so the EC probe did indeed affect the pH probe um, and then over here you can see the the EC probe is dropping way down. Everything is going to null out to zero because I am using um, RO water in that cup over there. And uh, yeah, now my pH is just going crazy. It's because that EC probe is inducing a current. Um, so that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to get some isolation circuitry over here so I can isolate the data lines, uh, power and data lines. The power lines, of course, are I isolated right now, but uh, for using a single power source, uh, we'll be able to have isolated um, power and data lines on four probes. Uh, the EC probe doesn't need isolation but the pH probes do. So if we're going to use more than one pH probe, the circuit that I intend to buy, it's $33, uh, you can isolate four probes on one circuit. Um, I could make it for a lot less, but I think I'm going to buy it anyway, just because I don't want to spend the time. Um, I mean, it'd probably cost me $15 to make it, and then I've got to breadboard it, and it's not soldered up on a on a PC board so I mean <laughs> you're not saving much and the time involved is just doesn't seem to be a uh, good use of time um, yeah so that's it um, I'll post any changes as they come